was a, a great performance, I think we're all agreed, by uh, Wes Houlihan, who I suppose you could argue really turned himself into a, a superstar tonight. Yeah, to you me. can't say that, Dara. I mean, he was, he was all over the park, put himself about, showed some great touches, scored a magnificent goal with his wrong foot, and I think he's an international superstar now. Yes, but that's what I just said there. Yeah, but I'm saying it now, Dara. Are, are you listening, Dara? Yes, yes, this... Yeah, well, will you tell your face... Because it looks like you're thinking too much about ice cream. Yeah, can I tell you uh, about Wes Houlihan? Uh, Wes Houlihan was our most influential player today, uh, and he shouldn't have been taken off. Because the only person who can replace Wes Houlihan is Wes Houlihan. But he was already taken off. So, you know, that was one mistake. But apart from that, you know, I would say, no shame in it. Uh, Zlatan Zibrahimovic really didn't get a look in, did he, Liam? I mean, Ireland shepherded him very, very well. Uh, yeah, we can have a look at the clip here. He, he ran, he's dressed like a lemon. He ran around like a lemon. There he is, look, kicking the ball into touch. Uh, the next clip, he's, he's just booting the ball away. There he's heading it away. Just loopy header. Then he kicks a fella, Dara, and he loses the ball. And, and he, as I say, he's, he's like a traffic cone. Just wandering around the pitch, look looping the ball up in the air, and he left a very bitter taste in his manager's mouth, as you can see from that clip. The only thing he contributed to the game, Dara, was an atheist that led to their goal. A what? An atheist. It was a nice cross, but there was no one there. And in the confusion, Kieran Clark put it into his own net. Yeah, you see, the thing is, uh, Dara, the, uh, and this is the other thing that uh, O'Neill got wrong in, in the game. Uh, you've got to manage uh, the game. Uh, you've got to manage it to win it. And they didn't manage it. And that was the one thing that I would say. After all, he is the manager. Well, when I'm they were in the lead, mm. he didn't manage to hold on to it. Then. Yeah, at that, that time of the game. Yeah, it, it. Well, I'm hearing now that we have Martin O'Neill uh, with a reaction with uh, Tony O'Donoghue. Uh, Martin O'Neill, are you concerned about the uh, media reaction back home, I suppose, particularly <laughs> from uh, a certain Eamon Dunphy? Well, look, Tony, that's, that's fine. And I don't have a problem with that question. It's absolutely fine, of course. You know, you have a job to do, and, and so do I, and that's fine. And of course, I'll answer the question. You mentioned Eamon Dunphy. Well, Eamon Dunphy is, is to me, he's like, he's like a soap opera. He's, he's Deirdre Barlow, he's Dirty Den, he's Les Battersby. The difference is he's playing all the parts, but he's equally outdated. And you might as well be watching a repeat on Dave. And it, it's my, my honest opinion. Yeah, yeah, I think we've lost the signal there. He's, uh, he's, got, he's a funny guy. He's, uh, yes, yes, indeed. Blah. And uh, it is, of course, a very emotional occasion. Uh, and Liam, of course, you've decided to take a pen to paper to... to yeah, I think that, uh, if, that if we beat Belgium on Saturday, they'll be gone. We'll be odds on to march on. The cabaret will be only Sauvignon. And come July, the French can put their café au lait away. And watch as a cup of ole ole is carried down the Champs Elysees. And if that doesn't happen and it all ends in doom. I pray much I'm playing in Vicar Street on the 24th of June. You can't say that, Eamon. I yeah. just did, baby. Get no, out of it. Yeah. You ruined me, poem. That's us gone. Good night. Is that my dad on? <laughs>